Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode. So, for this one we're just sort of um, getting to, you know, getting a running start on the epilogue. Uh, if you guys could leave a like and a comment and hit that subscribe button, that would be great. Uh, the mission we're doing now is called Simple Pleasures. Um, if there's any uh, com um, walkthroughs you want me to do, or commentary or not commentary, um, put that in the comment section as well. Because I'm looking into things to do after this. I've already got a few in mind, but uh, I wouldn't mind any suggestions if you've got any. Now then, let's get started. Hmm. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, Milton, thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens, go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Hmm. John, Jim, Milton. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in uh, the morning, wagon sir. up there? Ah, I believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. Because she'd kick my ass. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. To be fair, I mean, he really didn't, I guess. We did steal his yeah. wagon. I'll do it. You? Hey, are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know. Up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. The ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Now, just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, but most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never... 
never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. That looks disgusting, doesn't it? Full. Ugh. Hey, Paul. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all That's gotta enough, earn Jim. our keep. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. How old are you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just... Try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. I've Boy, gone from gunslinging and uh, hunting down bandit yes, camps sir. to uh, scooping up horse shit. But it's an honest living, I guess. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Oh, it splashes. Hold on a moment. <sighs> Stinking piles of and splash. Ugh. Oh, there's a bit hiding thing for the. Well, at least we don't have to do it all. From gunslinging to shit shoveling. Great. Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. <laughs> Lancelot. All right, let's go see what Abigail's up to. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Ah, mm -hmm. oh. there we go, the start of his new life. Put some coffee on. <laughs> well, maybe may as well go and see uh, right? Mr. D. 
Dickens, if that's his name. No, wasn't paying too much attention. Yeah, these are kind of fun, very quick sort of uh, missions as well. These aren't too bad. Hey, Milton, can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Yep, well, there's plenty more to do. That's not how you hammer in a post, by the way. You use a sledgehammer, but there. whatever. We don't want it coming down. Yeah, you use a sledgehammer to, you know, really get it in there, but, you know, whatever. Good, now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now, lift up the other side, you gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. You're doing all right. Good. Okay. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Yeah, but this isn't really hard work, though, is it? Just hammering in a post and putting, like, um, three bars there. It's fine. Investigate the commotion at the corral. What's that mean? Come on, son. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on, move! Oh, oh shit. Shit. I'll get him. Just keep on the mill. Try and come. Shoot. Oh god. Dead. One of the easiest parts in the game, man. Shoot. Probably gonna die Shoot. doing this. Nope. Nope. What the hell am I supposed to do? Gotcha. Easy. No, you don't. Ah, oh, you got me. No, get back here. No, no. Stop. How am I going to 
calm this thing down. You don't look like you're gonna wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. Whoa there. Whoa there. Easy. Easy. Come on, Finn. There, there. There, there. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. All better? Okay. <laughs> now come on, you hunk and chuck. You need to calm down. Stubborn, ain't you? <laughs> Let's go. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. Oh, well, there you go. Hey. Ooh. I'll get the coffee on. Thank you. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Okay, so next mission. Well, that wasn't too bad farming for beginners. This this whole bit is basically explaining how we end up becoming a rancher in the first game. Where he learned how to do it all. Blah blah blah. Which is fine. I don't mind uh I don't mind that. Where are my other hands? Damn it, Abe! Abe I said Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost. Possibly more, a mare about to fall, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much... <sighs> I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. Okay, where am I going? Okay, I assume it's the horse that's going mental. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. You the hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. <laughs> That's Jeremiah. Easy. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Settle down, okay? Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but... I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. 
She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so let's run around the area, I guess. Let it all out of you. you got some energy? Show me there. Come on. Where's that big mean horse? Oh. Alright, I honestly thought the horse would jump in. There you are. Okay. That was fun, wasn't it? You can behave now, can't you? Of course he can behave. I just ran him into a fence by mistake. Anyone would behave after that happens to them. For you. Okay. Get on up there. Go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there ain't another horse? You ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask? Are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns. Out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll- hey, Easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but- But- Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. Yep, you're listening to John Marston. I think you two might be ready to go out horse without Ragnar. chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You, Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my Thank husband. Thank you, Mr. Milton. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. It's over here. All right. So, time to help uh, Bertha Foal, I guess. So... You know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my god. Where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town. And it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just to stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Oh god. Okay, now hold on. You'll know them when you got them. And pull. Grip them. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Mr. Thank Milton. You. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. 
A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around. Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of course. Yeah. Good day, Mr. Milton. He's like, Abigail, Abigail, I was just propositioned. Because that's the thing you tell your wife, right? When an old elderly woman comes on to you. Oh, well, middle-aged woman, however old hey she was. Jim! <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way... Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? He's been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Nah, man. Okay, let's go. How you doing? Just from realize I've lost my Can we go tri horse. No. You're. Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream. Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack. What the? Kick What's going on? I hate it when that happens, when the horse just sort of like moves on its own. But there's no obvious reason as to why it's doing it. See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. What's happening? Help. Easy there. Easy there. Oops. Whoa. Jack. Oopsie too. Yep, nope, that's not good. You okay? Damn. Watch your language. You okay? Yeah, I think so. You'd know it if you weren't. Get back on. Okay. Get back on, boy. So I can make it. Let's see. Yeah. We can't even get my words out today. Ah. Alright. Let's go again. So how fast Why can you go? So it's like what? Two hits. Okay. And then that's it. Come on. So like two two button presses. Yeah, it's about as fast as you can go, I think. So bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm not going to make him go faster because I know he's going to fall flat on his mask, back, face, whatever. If I do. How long is this going for? How do I look? Better than before. Keep at it. Okay. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. Where is it? There it is. All right, let's do this. Here we are. Yep. I know you fell, but you think you're ready for a little race? I'll be fine. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! Isn't it the case of obviously I'll win because I'm in the regular it horse like I'm flying. and he's on a pony? Or is that just me being d deluded? No, no, he actually is catching up to me. Oh shit. Bad punk. Your horse is much bigger. And you're much smaller. Like a jockey. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll let him win. I beat you! I beat you! I Well beat ridden, son. <sighs> I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. Okay, so there's gunshots. Gunshots are happening. Let's uh, see what's happening. Let's see what's going down. You hear that? He don't like trespassers. <laughs> That's what I said. Well, does he like dead bodies on his property? <laughs> you want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> Oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy parents get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, get him. Oh, get him. I'll kick his head in, boss. He ain't so tough. Jim, Jim, get off that man! Get off! He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. 
<laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. You're married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> well, what'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. Not really. I mean, they were gonna possibly shoot the guy. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Okay, let's go see Abigail. Now, dear, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You Not in front of the men. getting on surviving I think here I'll get you some coffee only thing I know how to do is well you know undertakers like me cattle not so much that ain't true I ain't no rancher rustled horses not raised them stole cattle not birthed them I was I was reading the newspaper I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're, you're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name? My name. I, I think so. One's in your name, and the other's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods. Me. Look at me. <laughs> Okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mind. He's only a boy. I'm just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, get! You take care now. Of course. It's nice getting out eh, There's no road here. Huh? Huh? Like yeah, there is no road here. I think just about doing things no, like that. Yes, sir. You make that clear enough. What's that supposed to mean? Only that you aren't so happy here with us. Son, I'm happy. It's just... I, I find it hard, is all. You'll understand someday. This is real fast! Here. Want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster, give them a little switch, and then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Easy. Strawberry.
Uh, let's Enough. take it back. For now. That kid's strawberry, that kid. Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted in that. Very good. Son. Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. Time to collect the mail. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hi. I'm here to. Name? M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. And I will help you out. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here. Let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Yeah, it's Take not really keeping now. a low profile, is he? Thank you very much, mister. Yeah, John Marston. Okay, let's get out of here. Why don't you try uh, John, John okay, Marston? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yeah! We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store, or the saloon, or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But... I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving, and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. I'm your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. Speed up. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Hey -ya! <clears throat> well, this is uneventful. But yeah, no, something's gonna happen. I mean, obviously, that guy was. Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No, no, keep driving. Yeah, because obviously that guy was standing in the post office, so we did John Marston. I wonder if it's possible to go so fast we end up crashing into something. Let's speed this up. Well, I don't like 
driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go, and the horse will follow. Okay. I think the horse is getting skittish. He'll be all right. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Oh yeah, that's not a good sign. Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pod, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Ah! <sighs> Come on! Quick! Down! Okay, son. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marcy? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. <laughs> And boom! Oh, I shot his hat up. It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. No, if I was jarred, I'd be like, yeah, Come on. Yeah. Not a word of this to you, brother. Uh, because for some reason the horse kept going right instead of left. Those men. I told you not to look, boy. Now we're stuck here. What are we gonna do? Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Mom. Son, I need you to hold it together. You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. This is fast. Yeah, it's not that fast. We're okay. Hey, uh, you know, Mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. What was it called? Mm -hmm. What was the name, boy? Peacher's Hope. That's right. Peacher's Hope. Over by Blackwater. Why you drive like this? Hey. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher's boy. Like Duncan Geddes, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... Yeah. That kind of life might suit us. You're going so fast. I'm not going that fast. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Okay, here we are. That was an uh, eventful trip. Go say hi to your mother. It's... I don't... 
We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Uh, probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! It was your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Uh, she. God damn it, Marston. You and your big mouth. Look, just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so I'm gonna call it quits here. Hope you've all enjoyed the part. We made some decent progress into the epilogue, I guess. Um, this shouldn't take too long. Just a handful of videos, maybe. Um, actually, no, it might take a while. <laughs> I'm not sure. It, uh, I know I know it goes on for quite a bit, the epilogue does. Um, Alright, yeah, if you could leave a like and a comment and hit that subscribe button and check out the uh, end screen for any suggestions there might be for content on my channel you might like, that would be great. For now, though, that's pretty much it. So until the next time, do look after yourself, do take care, and do carry on gaming. For now, though, da-da. <laughs>